Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to roll back hotfix and patches which we normally install on Informatica product. Patches, patches are nothing but the emergency bug fix or any other patch which given by the Informatica as per the business requirement. So let's, let's see how to roll back hotfix and get the it's a original version for example if you have installed mdm 10.1 version and on 10.1 version you have you have installed hotfix one so the actual version will be 10.1.1 and you would like to revert from 10.1.1 hotfix version to 10.1 so how can we achieve that or suppose you have the mdm 10.2 and the informatica provided one patch on that and you install that patch and patch is not working how to revert back to original version so that is nothing but the rollback of hotfix or patches or emergency bug fix it's also called as a abf so what are the things we need to take care of as a part of the rollback first thing we have to take care about the hub server application the next component is clean server component or cleans process or cleans application so up, after taking care of the hub and the clean server we have to take care of the cmx system and cmx ors related components so these are the basic four components we need to take care as a part of rollback how to do that we'll see shortly the first very first component is mdm hub server application so we know that whenever we install MDM product there will be two enterprise application will be installed on the given, uh, given application server and the first is uh, hub server and the second is process server so in this section we are going to see how to roll back hub server when we install any hotfix or emergency bug fix the current installation is backed up in a folder so that normally we create uh, installation directory hub server and then we create a backup folder there and we keep first backup before installing any hotfix or ebf so taking backup is very important step as a part of the installing hotfix so we we will be having the backup of that and normally we take the backup in the form of jar file it's not mandatory to create a jar file we can directly create a folder structure and back, take backup there but normally it's a good idea to j make it a jar or make any archive file of that backup and keep there so by that way we can utilize the space which which will be available due to archiving so such jar files we will be uh, available in that location which will contain complete hub server and it's a subfolders so instead of uninstalling hub server why this is because whenever we if you might have noticed in the installation guide the, at the very end you see the uninstalling steps so no need to pro, pro follow those un, uninstallation step to revert back to our original version rather than that instead of following or instead of going with the uninstallation of mdm server we can just unzip or extract what are the jar file or what are the backup we have once we unzip it we can copy and override the hf or ebf version so in order to override you can just delete or you can take a backup of ebf version also and keep some other location and delete from that original location and whenever you extract the old hub server after extraction you can keep that at the required location so that that is what the our last point it is we are mentioning here so instead of uninstalling mdm hub server installation to to do a rollback we can just extract uh, this backup file and overwrite our hotfix or ebf installation with the files that comes from the jar folder or backup folder the next thing is cleans application rollback we have to make sure here the what are the steps we have seen for the installation or rollback of the hub server the same step will be applicable for the cleans application 
the only thing will be instead of hub server location we'll have the cleanse location where the actual files will be there so there we have to create a backup folder and take a backup of the existing file during the installation step only not or if you are not taken um, backup during the installation as a prerequisite of the installation of the patch then we have to make sure you are you can take before uh, we, we have to take that before installation otherwise you will not able to recover so install taking backup is very important step before applying hotfix if you don't have the backup then you will not you will have to need to perform some several more step or it will be little more time consuming activity so instead of going in that route it's better to take backup of all the files whenever you install a new hotfix or new version or new emergency bug fix so as like hub server you will have the backup of the clean server sour in this however in this case the current installation is being backed up in the backup folder which is main which will be present in the cleanse directory so instead of uninstalling mdm cleanse installation to do a rollback we can just extract and override the hot fix or ebf installation with the files from the jar folder as like hub server next thing about cmx system mdm control database schema normally cmx system is installed in oracle or db2 or sql server cmx system mdm control database schema contains information about the ors and idd application this information is very important for the mdm hub console to start up backing up the database of cmx system schemas before applying the upgrade to hotfix or ebf normally dbas have their um, routine to take backup of your database once in a week but you have to check with your dba if you have any such mechanism already available if it is not there then at least before installation of hotfix or ebf you have to take a backup of database if we need if we need to roll back then we need to restore this backup so when are you going to roll back your existing ebf or your existing hotfix then you have to roll back the same x system as as well mdm ors users database schema as we know even same M as like same x system mdm ors is also built on the oracle or db2 or sql server which are defined in the mdm hub console database section each mdm ors is stored in the separate databases that we already know schema and contains the ors metadata for example c repos metadata table and actual base object which is business relevant tables backup the database for all the ors schemas before upgrade to the hotfix and abf is applied so it is on the same line like for the cmx system as we take the dba takes the backup on the same line for the cmx ors ORS also we have to take the backup if we need to roll back then we need to restore all of the backups it is easy to roll back the application as when we apply a hotfix or an ebf the complete hub server folder and the subfolders are backed up in the hub server backup folder as a jar file so it's very simple and we have to just extract the files and override the existing installation and then redeploy the er files so even when we take the backup uh, means when we restore the hub server and clean server the one more activity we need to do is we have to deploy those er files in the application server so that will be the one of the step we have to take care on the database side the only way to roll back is to restore the database backup of cmx system and cmx ors it is basically the same process for the hotfix or an abf though the hotfix contains more database changes than emergency bug fix when we have restored the hub server and cleanse archives whatever we have mentioned the step and step two together with the cmx system and ors schemas step three and step four we need to finally deploy the hub server and clean server er files 
those are the finally we are concluded here. we have to do the hub server rollback we have to do the we have to do the clean server rollback we have to do the same system rollback we have to do the ors rollback and after that we have to also deploy the er files the normal er files involves cyprin mrm er cyprin cleans mrm er those are normally involved but there apart from that there is provisioning er entity 360 er will be also involved important things to remember if there are several jar files and we are not sure which one is correct one then identify by using the date and timestamp or extract the jar file with the winzip or winrar and go to the in infa mdm hub server conf version info xml it will have the different versions information with the start install time and the end install time so make sure you are using the correct version of the jar file this is very important otherwise they even if you revert your application it may throw up some errors if the appropriate jar files are not present at appropriate location so make sure you have the right all the jar files so these this is these are the important things about the rollback in the hot fix and the ebf i hope this is definitely help you to understand how to roll back the process so in your project if you are planning to go for the applying hot fix or the emergency back fix make sure you are taking the backup of the existing installation thank you again and have a nice time do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the such a technologies like informatica mdm idd java or hadoop or unix also Thank you again and have a nice time.